had a little update on the uh, new tires and wheels for the two-wheel scraper. I mentioned a few videos back I was having a real tough time finding the correct wheels for these tires. I needed an 8 inch wide rim with a 6 by 5.5 bolt pattern. Uh, the tires are 15 inch. For some reason I couldn't find those things. Uh, got back on the internet just screwing around and lo and behold I found them in about 3 minutes. But anyway, the reason I'm going to these style tires they have a greater weight capacity than the little trailer tires on that two-wheel scraper. I got my own tire machine here at work. I picked it up for a couple hundred dollars. I spent about the same fixing it up. Got an old-style pyramid-type balancing machine. It actually works pretty damn good. Got the uh, pressure tank to set the bead when you're having difficulty. Got one of these little carts for weights, uh, an assortment of stems, uh, ether if the bead setter won't work, Some grinders to clean up the rims, just an assortment of stuff, tire patch kits. Got my own hubcap hammer. I need that for my Ram truck. Even the dealership keeps breaking the tabs off the damn wheel covers. It's most irritating. Then they just said they didn't do it, of course. Uh, portable air tank, use it every now and again. Use this uh, Murphy's tire and lube mounting compound. You can get that at pretty much any auto parts store. It beats soapy water all the hell. If you got a questionable rim, got a little bit of corrosion on it, once you clean it up, this will help sell the bead. Also use tire jacked, tire jacked on problem beads or slow leaks. And I uh, love that stuff too, but it's kind of on the expensive side. This is the tool you use to set the uh, little uh, cal, I forgot what they're called now, stems. This is your weight tool, got your tire crayon, a couple of them. Valve core tool, pretty invaluable. Go to Amazon, you get valve cores, a couple of hundred for about five bucks. Same thing on stems.